Welcome to the Digital Gallery's two-part exhibit of Coronelli's Atlas of 1693. I was introduced to Vincenzo Coronelli by my fellow California Map Society member, Michael Maidenberg, who wanted to see the map of North America by Coronelli that shows California as an island. I started investigating and noticed that this book by Susan Shelton, which I already had, features uh, the map by Coronelli of North America. I also found that the entire Coronelli Atlas had been digitized by the David Rumsey uh, uh, website. And those images are the basis of these two exhibit, exhibits on the digital gallery. Coronelli was successful from a very early age, first publishing, uh, first publishing at the age of 16 and then publishing about 140 works over his life. He mostly lived in Venice and was famous for his globes, especially these two globes, which are 10 foot in diameter, and he made for Louis XIV, who's also known as the Sun King. Cornelli moved to Paris for two years to construct these globes in 1681. As of 2010, these globes could be viewed at the, at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. Apparently, these globes were financial losers, costing Cornelli about double what he was paid but they led to further fame, which translated into financial success when he published the 1693 Atlas that is the basis of these two exhibits now on the digital gallery. My favorite images in the first exhibit are of course, the map of North America. And I will show that to you now. It's in two parts showing California as an island. Incredible cartouche and the East Coast in the Caribbean. My other favorite map in the first uh, uh, exhibit is this one of the Pacific. Again, California is an island. And also uh, notice that uh, uh, Australia has not uh, been discovered and only pieces of New Zealand are on the map. And also notice the rum lines, um, which are like a Portland chart. In the second exhibit, my favorite images are the ones of the uh, maelstroms or whirlpools in Norway. <clears throat> and second, all of the images uh, of the ships. These images are just incredible. Anyway, thank you for visiting this exhibit and I hope you enjoy it.